Hi guys, hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, if you were joining me earlier, you'll know what's happened. Basically, I was going to do a live stream tonight with Lindsay. Lindsay's behind me there, looking awesome. Anyway, we were going to do a live stream tonight on YouTube and stream Farpoint on the PlayStation VR. And we were hyped up, we were psyched up for it. It was all going cool. I spent hours getting everything prepared for it. And yeah, it looks like there was a bit of a technical issue. So just to let you guys know who follow me on a regular basis, uh, it kind of put things a little bit delayed with getting the daily fix done. I wanted to get it done earlier, but we were doing the stream, trying to get it sorted. And the way my setup is, just to explain to anyone who's new to the channel, is I've got a Mac, a Mac Mini. Uh, sorry, no, my Mac, a Mac Mini, an iMac. That's it there. So I've got the iMac. And using the iMac, I've got Windows PC, uh, Windows 10 installed in it as well, using Bootcamp. So on Bootcamp, I run the streams to that because the capture card that I have, the Aver Media Live Gamer Extreme, it only works on a PC, so you can't get drivers for it to work on the Mac. So that's the only reason why I've got the PC side. And as a result of it, Obviously, I've got other things then installed on the, on the PC side of it to make that run and to have the overlays and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit fiddly anyway. And it, it was always a temporary solution until I got a PC, a gaming PC in the studio. Unfortunately, I've not got the money to get a gaming PC in the studio, so that's why it's been held off. Now I've also got other gear. But the PC side of it, uh, I hadn't actually, like we've not done a live stream for about, I don't know, six months or something. And I thought, you know what, I'll jump in there, I'll get all set up and everything. Got everything prepared for it. Everything was good. And then I jumped onto the PC and it came up with the the GeForce Experience, which I've got installed on the PC as well. Came up and normally that just logs in automatically and you can do the updates and get the latest drivers for your graphics card. But that popped up asking me to sign on. I was like, that's a bit weird. And then I thought, right, okay, I'll go into the website and I, like I was trying to log in, but I didn't remember what my details were. Luckily, I never put anything in. Uh, but I went onto Google, Google Chrome, and it kept on closing on me. And I was like, why is it closing on me? So I thought, right, I'll just check Windows Defender to make sure it's all right. I've only got Windows Defender on that part of it. Log, I went into that, tried to do an update, and it really didn't let me update. So I was like, right, okay, this is looking a bit dodgy. And then everything I was trying to do was basically ask me to sign in, ask me to sign in, log in. So I went on my phone separately, and I checked just to see what the issue was with, with uh, Windows Defender to see how to get that fixed. Turns out it looks like it's a hack or something. So there was something in my registry on the PC which was basically preventing that from updating. Typical sort of kind of hack behaviour. And then just sort of kind of looking into it more and more, it looked like everything else was kind of being affected from it. So uh, instead of trying to do a restore and still have stuff potentially lying in the background, what I've decided to do is I'm just re-imaging my well, I've actually deleted the partition for Bootcamp. I've taken it off. That's gone. So that's completely gone. I need to reset it up again. But it's got me reassessing the situation with the PC for the studio, a gaming PC specifically for that purpose. One where I could create an image, put the programs on it, take an image at that point, and then if there's any problems at any stage, you just wipe it completely, reinstall the image, and start off again from that base level. So... You know, I think instead of messing around with Macs, the problem is when you do a Mac with Bootcamp, if you delete the partition, you have to then delete the Mac part of it as well. Apparently, it's a bit awkward. So, or sorry, if, if you want to update the Mac side, you have to delete the Windows partition as well and reinstall both. So, it's just an absolute nightmare. Uh, and it's only like that because I'm trying to do both on one, one machine. Uh, so, I think instead of leaving myself offline, and in a situation like this again, I think I'm going to look at the situation for a Windows PC and uh, for the streaming, live streaming in the studio. And, you know, it's going to cost me a bit of money. I'm probably going to have to buy it on finance just because I can't afford to pay a big chunk of cash in a winner for something like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll maybe get the PC uh, look into something. It'd be good to get you guys uh, to get you something advice wise. Hey, Jordy. Uh, he said, but of course you're working on it. Uh, <laughs> I should have, but because it's Windows PC, yeah, because it's the boot camp, it's like I didn't have the backup, so 
Uh, the thing is, I need to really update my, my Mac side anyway. <laughs> backside, yeah, I need to clear my backside, but I need to basically get uh, the the Mac side sorted out anyway and update that to Mac OS. So anyway, like I said, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a PC, get a gaming PC specifically for that. Use the Mac for editing, which is good anyway, and use this for the PC side for sorry, use a PC for the gaming streaming side of it. Yeah, I should have, Jordy. Exactly, I should have. All I'm worried about now is maybe some of my files on my uh, SSD, my external SSD, may have been affected. I hope not. I've taken it off, and that's normally not always plugged in. Like I said, I very rarely go on the PC side only for streaming. So, get a, get a Windows PC in here. It'd be good to get some advice from you guys who have maybe got gaming rigs out there. If you have and you have an idea of suggestions for decent graphics cards, uh, memory, processors, uh, motherboards and stuff... I want something that can stream decently. They have to have the top of the range, you know. I think every set of budget for the studio, like I said, I've not really got the money for this, but if I set a budget for maybe something about a grand and a half, uh, that's probably as much as I can go to without absolutely killing myself. So something about that range where I can get it set up, I can stream games, and I can run it pretty well, then that would be pretty good. Uh, and it'd be only for gaming as well, so I could put that to the side only for gaming. Anyway, I wanted to update you guys to let you know what is happening. Uh, I was a bit disappointed. We were a bit gutted by that because we were looking forward to the stream. We've got the PlayStation AIM controller, Farpoint. We're looking forward to it. Hi, Addicted to Rock. I feel your pain, man. <laughs> I've been dealing with Adil's Kills Virus. Well, I'm just reading this, sorry. Uh, I don't know what that says. Ad Adil Accuse Virus. I work on HP Blade servers all day. The server was a write-off. We're rebuilding another. Just worried the backup may have a Trojan. Well, exactly. So that's that's exactly what I was worried about. Like I said, I went in, I was going to do the system restore. Tried to do a system restore, and it wouldn't even allow that. So I'm pretty sure it's affected it down to this sort of kind of root level. You know, I did go into the registry key and uh, took off the the thing that turns off Windows Defenders updates. So I took that off and everything, but I don't think I think it's got much more going on. It's like there was some guy who had a guide online where you could do stuff with the browsers and you had to take off stuff there. And it's just an absolute nightmare. So, you know, I think I, I, like I'm as well just spending the time I'd spend trying to clean that up properly, mess around, try to make sure it's not doing stuff in the background and affecting other files. I'd be as well just spending that time and actually reinstall Windows on Boot Camp and starting from scratch again. It means I can up, up, uh, update all without worrying and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping it's not affected anything on the Mac side. Anyway, guys, Lindsay was all dressed up. Look, she got all dressed up for nothing. For nothing. No, no, I wasn't dressed up. Oh, no, she was looking cool. Anyway, I got dressed up, as you can tell. Dressed up for I'm nothing. I'm my hair, I guess. But... <laughs> so, yeah, any, any advice for gaming PC, guys, let me know. Jordan says, would it have taken ages to do a restore all, <laughs> all that porn? I wish. There was nothing even like that on my machine. I didn't have anything like that. That's what's even more annoying. <laughs> you wish, what? Well, I wish there was a reason that it would take ages. That it was a legit uh, reason. There's, not, there's nothing on my machine. That was, that, that's what's bloody annoying. It's got this streaming program and that's it. Anyway, guys, let me know about game stuff. <laughs> gaming PCs. Stuff you think might work well. Anyone wants to donate a gaming PC, fire away. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to have to do stuff on here. I'll see if we can get something set up stream wise. Even whilst I'm looking into this, maybe we can do some something through the Mac side, maybe even just stream it to the TV or something, I don't know. We'll work something out a bit. Because I can do the, the streams from the camera, I just can't get the PlayStation feed coming through. Because the Mac, it's just a nightmare, it doesn't work with that graphics card, uh, sort of that capture card. But maybe I can get another alternative capture card that works with the Mac, that maybe isn't quite as good as the one I've got, but I can still stream. So we'll look into that. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me, thanks for being patient. I'll get that sorted out. I'll be doing the daily fix back normally tomorrow. So I'll do some updates there. But yeah, I'll be back to normal reg regular schedule tomorrow. And I've got to get some stuff done for the Games Lounge. So cheers. Cheers for everyone that joined in just now, by the way, to Addicted to Rock, Jordy Jixer, whoever else is in the background. I don't know who it is. There's Are they all joining us next week? Yeah, you join us next week if we get it sorted out. <laughs> I know where you can get a nice smart board. <laughs> it worked <laughs> uh, but yeah you guys join us next week if you are then 
awesome. Look forward to seeing you guys next week. I will update. I've updated some of the stuff on the event to say it's coming next week. Next week instead, and I'll update this stuff on YouTube and every everywhere else, Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So we'll be updated for next week. And regardless of what happens with the Mac, I'll have something that will work in place for next week. This just caught me totally off guard. So cheers for me, guys, and thank you for joining. Thanks for being patient. Take care, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow in the Daily Fix. And you better say bye, Lindsay. But get 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 the gun so you can finish with the gun anyway, so it looks like you played it. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what she would have looked like without the headset, obviously. I'm not even sure how you hold it. Hold like a gun. Just look cool in like, it. Like this. Look badass. Like that. <laughs> that's the screenshot. That's that's the, that's the thumbnail. Like <laughs> Ta-da the new Jordi, ta da the new Look at that. Yeah. You look cool, Lindsay. You look cool. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.